crazy. I feel, like I feel weird. <laughs> okay. All right, so it is Friday. It's 10 a.m. finally a morning workout. I know, right? Super excited. If you're ready, give me a thumbs up. Yes. Ryan's not giving me a thumbs up, but that's good. All right, so we're gonna start off with our trunk twist. Make sure you are getting your body super warmed up. I've already been warming up because Ryan, oh, he kind of killed me yesterday. We did sprints. I am not a sprinter. Oh, we went up to one of the high schools and ran on their uh, field. And it, yeah, I am sore. Yeah. <laughs> me too. Yeah, it needs to. Yeah. A little bit. Oh man, I'm sore. Like I said, I am not a sprinter. Okay, all right. Go ahead and feet are shoulder width apart. Knees are slightly bent. We're gonna go down. Nice hamstring stretch here and walk it on out. Give me three of these little inchworms. Make sure you're pushing away. Get yourself all warmed up. Be sure to hold that core in so we're kind of firing it up. Oh. And on that third one, meet me out in a tabletop position. Go ahead and let's go ahead and stretch our back here. So go ahead, push away, throw that tailbone under, tuck that chin under. Feeling good. And curl that tailbone up and that head up. Make sure to push those shoulder blades away. Okay. Now maybe in a neutral position, take that right arm, go ahead and thread it on through. Give me a nice good stretch here. And bring it back up and give me that left arm up to the sky and thread it on through. Stretch here. All right, back into tabletop position. Take that right leg, bring it on forward. Give me a nice good stretch here. You can bring that back leg up if you want to. You can always keep it on the ground. And then let's go ahead and sit it on back in a little hamstring stretch here. Toe to the ceiling. And then go ahead and switch legs for me. So left leg out front, you can heel toe it out to the side. You can always bring that back leg up. And sit it on back and toes to the ceiling. Give me a nice good hamstring stretch here. All right, meet me back in the tabletop position. We're just gonna curl those toes under, send your hips up and back for a nice, nice stretch right here. You can walk your dog. Some good hamstring stretch, a little upper body stretch. All right, go ahead and walk it on in. Roll it up. And a nice little shoulder roll right here. While we're up here, let's do a little quad stretch. So grab your ankle, pull it against your bum bum. Oh, Lynn's not here, I was gonna make fun. She was talking to some of our friends and she was like, yeah, my bum bum hurts. Apparently I'm rubbing off on her. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. All right, any last little thing you wanna do? Maybe get your arms all warmed up, chest. I'm gonna show you what you guys are gonna do on your very first round. All right, so. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start with some hammer curls. So we're just going to curl it, okay? Then what we're gonna do is we're going to curl it up, bring it out like a wing, bring it out like a lateral raise, and bring it down. And last but not least, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be here in like a shoulder press and going in and out. So grab the weights that you would like to do. You have about five seconds. <laughs> and then we'll get started. All right, so hammer curls. All we're doing is our palms are facing each other and we're going up and down. Shoulders are down, we're squeezing those biceps. You can go fast, you can go slow, completely up to you. Make sure you're squeezing those elbows next to your body. You're getting a nice, good bicep curl. If you need a little bit more on the way down, be nice and slow, okay? So we're just doing two rounds of this, no big deal. <laughs> All right, nice little break here. And then what we're gonna do, remember that hammer curl, we're gonna go out in a wing, out to the side and back down. Okay, so join me. Curl it up, bring it out, 
and bring it down. Make sure you're breathing. As you're doing it, your core is nice and in. And we're just going straight out, so we're not shrugging those shoulders at all. Girls are at camp today, so no worries about hello netting sky. No, hello sky netting. Whatever. <laughs> Let me just say, they are fired up today. Woo! We're going swimming and they are fired up. Yep. All right, here we go. We're in a shoulder press position. And we're just going to go in and out, okay? Make sure that you are not dropping those, uh, your arms below your shoulders, okay? We're just keeping those palms kind of facing together as we go in. And we're breathing. Briella came into my bedroom this morning at 6 a.m. Completely booty bum naked. All right, back to the top. Ready to get dressed. That was a nice surprise. Mama, mama, get me dressed. And she's completely naked. I'm like, oh, geez. I can't even open up my eyes right now. Give a girl. So much fun. All right, this is the last round of this, okay? So if you can go up and wait, go up and wait. If it's too much, drop down. No worries. Fortunately, uh, doing sprints doesn't hurt your upper body, thank goodness. I mean, my abs are a little sore, but that's about it. All right, remember, we're gonna go into that hammer curl, bring it out like a chicken wing, bring it down. Okay, so. <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, bring it up, out, and down. Make sure you're squeezing those biceps. You're just going straight out from your shoulders, and your shoulders aren't shrugged, okay? This is a full body day. Since we hit the upper, the lower, now we need a full body, right? All right, last but not least, here we are, we're gonna do our we're gonna be like in a shoulder press and we're gonna go in and out. All right? Shake the shoulders out. Ooh. All right, here we go. In and out, palms are gonna face each other. Yes. Wish me luck tonight. It's Briella's first game. We'll see how this goes. Hopefully, she uh, won't be super shy. We'll see. All right, keep it going, keep it going. Nice work, okay. Now what we're gonna do for a minute straight, we're going to do squat presses. So our hands are gonna be here. We're going to squat down and we're gonna press it up, okay, for a minute. All right, so you have about 10 seconds if you wanna drop down a different weight. You don't have to have weight though. Make sure you're driving those knees out though. So you're in a squat position, feet are shoulder width apart. We squat down and we bring it up and squeeze at the top. And by squeeze, I mean squeeze your booty at the top. Okay, push them, push them. So we're getting a little lower body here, we're getting a little cardio going in, and we're getting those shoulders. Yes. Come on, you guys can do it. I promise you there's no jumps today. So, <laughs> basically because my lower body's sore. <laughs> Make sure you squeeze it at the top. Come on. As you come up, breathe out. Get yourself up there. Drive those knees out. 10 seconds, you guys can do it. And Katie, if you didn't notice, my back wall is growing with beautiful artwork. Nice work, guys. All right, this is your break. I'm gonna show you what you're gonna do next. Whoa, I'm not really sure where to go here. All right, so what you're gonna do, you're gonna be up against the wall. Feet are going to be about a foot length out. You're going to go into a V, arms are up, and you're going to push, okay? Next you're going to do, and you're just going to hold, squeezing your shoulders together. Next what you're going to do, start on the ground, push up, up. Down, take your hands off, push up, up. 
Last but not least, we're gonna do bent over reverse flies. So we're gonna hinge at those hips, arms are down, and we're gonna go back and squeeze our shoulders. Thank you, Chanel Lovely Assistant. All right, so find your wall, whatever wall you can find. Can we do this wall? Do this wall. Here we go. So feet are out, arms are in a V, <laughs> and you push away. Make sure that your, your uh, elbows are the only thing touching the wall, okay, and you're squeezing those shoulder blades together. So you can kind of see them a little bit at an angle here, all right? So we're squeezing them together. We're trying to get our upper back up here, okay? Make sure your core is in. It'll help you. Nice work. All right, now what we're going to do, we're going to start on the bottom. We're going to push ourselves up and then go back down and let go. Okay, so here we are. We push up, go back down, let go. Make sure as you're pushing up, you're trying to push away so you're clawing into the floor. You're going up at a straight as one body, so not like a wave. <laughs> Don't do the worm. Is that what that's called? The worm? You can always be on your knees. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Are you, to, are you trying to do the wave or the inch work? What is that called again? I can't remember what that's called. You know that dance move. Okay, bend over reverse slides. Here we go. You're hinged at the hips and you're squeezing those shoulder blades together. Okay? Arms are slightly bent and we're looking down. If you need a little bit more, you can always hold it at the top. <laughs> what did you do to make that big noise? I was pushing against the ground. Oh. I think my hand wasn't all that against it. Oh. <laughs> all right, back to the wall. So we're at the wall. You're about a foot length out. Arms are in a V. You're going to go at a 90 degree angle with your hands and you're pushing away. Okay? So here we are. Make sure you're squeezing those shoulder blades together. So using your arms to help you squeeze those shoulder blades together. We're really focusing on our back right here. Since we don't have any way to do uh, rows per se, sitting rows. Oh, standing. All right. This is it for this one. So keep going. Nice work. All right, push ups. You can always be on your knees with the push ups too. I don't think I said that. We're going to start on the bottom and we're going to push, push away. All right? Here we go. Push up, down, let go. Make sure you're breathing. You're clawing into the ground. You're trying to be one single board. Push. Come on, you guys can do it. You can always drop to your knees if you need to. Nice work. Last but not least, we're gonna do bent over rows. I'm sorry, bent over flies, reverse flies. Oof. So we're here, we're hinged, and we're squeezing. Knees are slightly bent as we're doing this. And this is it from this one. And then we'll move on. Nice work. Here's your break. I'm going to show you what you're going to do next. This is where you need that chair, couch, whatever it is you guys have. Okay, we're going to do tricep dips. So I'm going to walk it out. My hands are going to be kind of right in line with my body, and I'm going to go down to a 90 degree angle. You can always be here. All right, so go with me here. We're really focusing on those triceps going up and down. Make sure your core is in as you're going up and down. Move as fast as you want, as slow as you want, okay? This is only for a minute. <laughs> Say only for a minute. You can always have your knees bent, okay? Push, push away. You might get a little fatigued, so you might want to start bending your knees. 
Okay. If you bend your knees, make sure you bring them closer to your body. Try and really get down to that 90 degree angle. Burn those triceps out. Come on, 10 seconds. You guys can do it. A little bit longer. Ooh, out, just a little bit. Ooh, out, little bit more. All right, nice work. Hey, here's your break. I'm going to show you what you're going to do next. We're going to come back to that nice, lovely wall. We're going to put our back up against the wall. We're going to go down into a wall sit. Okay? We're just going to hang out here. No big deal. All right, then what we're going to do, you can have a band, no band. We're going to be down into a squat position. And we're going to walk it over to the right. Then walk it to the left. Really focusing on trying to use these outer glutes. Okay? And now what we're going to do is some calf raises. But we'll use weights. So, meet me in a wall sit. Okay, so our back's against the wall. Tailbone's curled under. We're going down to where our, our quads are about parallel with the ground. This is too much for you. You can always be up a little bit. Okay, that'll make it a little easier. So make sure your core is in and your tailbone is curled under so you're nice and flat with the wall. Make sure you're breathing. All right, you can grab your band if you want to grab a band. Completely up to you. So we're going to be in a squat position. I'm going to start over here. So we're going to be in a squat position and we're going to the left or the right, whichever one you want to do it. And then we're going back over. You might want a bigger <laughs> band. Okay, chest is up as we're doing it. We're kind of pushing away with that outer foot as you're doing it. I want to have you hand. I'll go next one. Okay. <laughs> you can always, always have weights in your hand if you want to make this a little bit more challenging for you. All right. Hey, grab some weights. We're going to do both legs for calf raises. All we're going to do is just go up and down, okay? As we're going up and down, try not to let those heels set completely down on the ground unless you need it, okay? This is for balancing. <laughs> They'll at least help you with your balance. Your calves look great in high heels, girls. Just throwing it out there. <laughs> and for your high heels, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. All right, we're doing our little sits. Go on down. I told you we're not jumping today. <laughs> so we're doing calf raises. <laughs> All right, curl that tailbone under. Make sure you're breathing. Shoulders are down. This isn't enough for you. You can always put a weight on you and have a weighted um, wall sit. Completely up to you. And if it's too much for you, act like you're sitting on a chair and trying to get up. You can always do that too. How you doing, Zara? Great. I know, I have the fan all to myself. I'm doing real great over here. All right, here we go. Grab a band or whatever it is you want to use. Let me use this guy. Can you use this one? You can use that one. I don't know if that'll fit on you. Here we go. We're going to the right and to the left. It doesn't matter. I was going to say, it barely fits on me. There are small little movements to the right and to the left. Did you want this one? What was that? This is the real heavy one. Yeah, you told me I need a heavier one. You take it. Because <laughs> I need a heavier one. Hey, I'm not a part of the BBC club. I need it. Our chest is up. Small little movements. All right, hey, guess what? Calf raises. Okay? We're going to go up and down. Make sure that you're trying not to put those heels on the ground as you go up. Okay. You can go fast, you can go slow. You don't have to have weights. Completely up to you. You can always hold on to a chair. If you hold them at the top for a minute, it really focuses on your balance. <laughs> nice and slow all the way down. And then we're done with this. All right, here's what you're gonna do. Grab a weight. You can always have two weights depending on what it is, and we're going to just do a deadlift. So feet are a little more than shoulder width apart. 
We're gonna go down, shoulders are back. We're hinged our hips and we're gonna go up and we're gonna squeeze our glutes and our hips. So we're gonna kind of drive through with our hips. Okay, whoops. And here we go, I'm grabbing a band. We have a minute to do this. Here we go, okay. As I said, drive through. Make sure your chest is up when you go down and you're driving through, okay? Make sure you squeeze your bottom at the top. You're breathing and your core is in. When you go down, it's not a full go down to the ground. Kind of like just a little bit below your knees or wherever your weight hits. Don't worry, after this, you guys get to sit on the ground. Come on, keep it up. Make sure that back is nice and flat so you're just hinging at your hips, sticking that booty bum out. Nice work. Okay, here's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna do glute bridges. You can have them weighted, you can have them banded. You can have them both if you want to. So, we're gonna do a glute bridge up and down. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna flip on over. We're gonna need a tabletop position. Our legs gonna go out to the side and we're just gonna pulse it up. Okay, and then on the next round, we'll pulse it up on the other side. Okay, so meet me at the bottom. Here we go. As you're doing this, your feet are shoulder width apart. You're driving those hips up to the sky. Squeeze your bottom at the top. Lower on the way down. If you need a little bit more, you can always just hold it at the top. And that'll give you a little bit more, okay? But we're just pulsing it up and down. Like I said, you don't have to have weights. All right, flip it on over. Here we go. We're in a tabletop position. Left legs out, right legs out, whichever one you want to do, because we're going to do them both. Got in a 90 degree, four right out to the side, and we're just pulsing it up. Okay, so we're pushing through our fingertips. And we're really focusing on that glute. If this is too much, you can always be, have your knee bent, okay? Completely up to you. Make sure that core is in so you're not falling over to the side. All right? And make sure you're breathing. Whew. Nice work, okay. Shake out those wrists if you need to. We're gonna go to the other side. So it's out and we're just pulsing. It's amazing how bad my uh, obliques are already hurting because running really, really makes them uh, work out. Come on, Ryan. Get it up there. <laughs> All right, make sure you're pushing through and you're just pulsing it. That leg can always be bent. All right, flip on over. We're doing that raised glute bridge again, okay? Here we are, up and down. Feet are shoulder width apart. We're going to squeeze it at the top. Make sure you're breathing, your core's in. Okay? Down. All right, we're in a tabletop position. I'm going to start with my left one again. You guys can do whatever you want, okay? So leg is out and we're just pulsing. We're pushing away, so I'm calling through with my hands. My core is in and I'm just feeling the burn. Okay? You feeling that burn? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, okay, well, maybe not that burn. <laughs> oh, goodness. Hold it. Nice. All right, we're going to the other side. All right, hands are right underneath our shoulders. 
Right leg's gonna be up, and we're pulsing it. Come on. Make sure you're using that, those abdominal muscles to keep you nice and stable so you don't fall over. Okay, this is it for this one. You guys can do it. Come on. Nice work, okay. Here's your break, I'm gonna show you what you're gonna do next. This still is 10, you have a 10, I have a 10. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the tricky skid up. I know. Foot's out to the side, this foot is down. We're here, and we're trying to keep it straight overhead, okay? We're gonna do that on the left and on the right. How's that going? Yeah. Nice. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start down low on one side, so with our weight, and we're going to go up, okay? So it's like a wood chopper, but we're kind of working on like our obliques going from down to up, all right? And we're gonna do that on both sides. So meet me on the bottom. I'm going to have my left leg out first. Completely up to you. Here we go. So my left leg is out, my right leg is behind me. I'm trying to make sure that that weight is over my head and I try and keep it in the center of my body, okay? So this is working a lot on stabilization. We also have that weight overhead so that I'll uh, work a little on your upper body, but this is mainly for your obliques and your core, okay? So if you go slow, slow, slow on the way down, it's working and nice on the way up, right? So don't worry, we're gonna be doing both sides. We're gonna get up after this one though, and then we'll get back down to give your knees a little break. All right, go ahead and we're gonna go from the left to the right. So I'm gonna start on my left, down low, and I'm gonna bring it up to the right and try and use my force to bring it up. So we start on the left side and we're bringing it to the right, okay? So the harder you swing it, the more abdominal muscles you're gonna use. So make sure you're really trying to swing it. I mean, don't let go of it and hit anything. I'm not. <laughs> Somebody might get a little bit out of that. Okay, so down, up. Make sure you're following it with your, that your head is following it. So you have all your entire body going from one side to the other. Come on. Nice work. We're gonna go back down again. My right leg is gonna be out with my toe pointing to the side. My left leg is back and my right arm up. Here we go. I'm gonna try and stay in the center of my body. Make sure you're breathing as you're doing this. Okay? You don't have to use a weight. But we're really just focusing on all those core, core muscles we have. They'll help us so we are, uh, prevent some injury. Nice stable core will help us do all sorts of things. All right, so make sure you're breathing. That way you just try and stay right in the center of your body. Okay. Come on, you guys can do it. Nice work. Okay, we're gonna do the other side now. Remember, we're gonna start down low and we're gonna go high. So I'm starting on my right. Hold on to that weight as you twist, okay? Our whole body is following it and we're trying to go as fast as we can, but then we next, nicely stop it before it gets too far. Don't let go of that weight. <laughs> Good. Make sure you're breathing. Come on. Nice. 
Nice work. Okay, guess what? We have one more round of all of that. So, left leg is out, right leg is back, left arm is up. Here we go, all right? Come on, you guys can do it. That weight is gonna stay right in the center of our body. We're going up and down. Make sure you're using that core to get you up and slow all the way down, okay? You can hold your weight however you want to as far as if you want your palm towards the wall. Whatever's comfortable, okay? You guys can do it though. I know it. Go into this uh, Friday with this awesome workout. Tomorrow when you wake up and your abs are sore, it's like one of the best feelings. <laughs> Having sore abs. All right, we're starting on the left, going down and then going up, okay? So grab onto your weight. Make sure you're holding it well. Down and up. Make sure you're twisting your entire body is. You're breathing. Okay? Because this is our cardio. <laughs> Felt enough jumping. <laughs> Try and do it nice and fast. The faster you go, the harder your body's gonna work to stop it. Come on, you guys have 10 seconds left, you can do it. Get it up there. Nice work. All right, we're back down again. We're doing that right side. So, right knee's facing the wall. It's in your right arm. There we go. Up and down. Make sure you try and keep that weight straight in the center of your body. Make sure you're breathing. Your upper body's starting to get sore. You can always put it down here. Okay. Breathe, breathe through it. Feel that core working. Nice and slow on the way down. Get yourself up. Ooh. Nice work. All right, wipe the sweat. We're going from the right to the left, and then that's it, okay? so. Grab your weight, hold on to it nice and tight. Even if you have sweaty hands. Make sure you're breathing. And yes, these are hard to do. Come on, you guys have 20 seconds and then you have earned and deserve that cool down, okay? So, keep it up. Don't sweat it, where? Oh, <laughs> gross. <laughs> He's swinging sweat everywhere, apparently. Oh! Yeah. You guys. Woo! All right, so up here, let's go ahead and just do our arms real fast since we're up here. Oh my gosh, you got it over. You got it above our doorway. How do you swing? How do you fling sweat that far? That's swelling my arms. That's impressive. Very I'm impressive. swinging hard. You are swinging hard. I just really, really hope that you don't ever let go of it because then my computer is going, boy, boy. I will say it'd be better that you ruin the computer than the girls. <laughs> Give me a tricep over here. Woo! <laughs> All right, and while we're up here, let's go ahead and do our quads. Go ahead and take that ankle and pull it against your bum bum. You can always wipe your sweat off. Make sure you wipe it off your wall. <laughs> For those of you who've long sweat on the wall. 
Oh. One way to clean your walls, right? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Feet tilted with apart, knees are slightly bent. Let's go ahead and go on down. Actually, bring those legs up just a little bit. And let's go ahead and walk them over to the left. Do a nice good hamstring stretch here. And walk it to the right. My goodness, I'm looking at my hands. I am smurf blue over here. Has anybody tied dye shirts before? Ooh. The girls did, and I was rinsing it out, and man, it got my hands all blue. All right, go ahead and walk it on out to a tabletop position. Go ahead and push, push away, curl that tailbone under, tuck that chin under. Then go ahead and curl it up and tuck that head up. Nice, good stretch. Make sure your shoulder blades, your shoulders are down. Nice and neutral. Give me a right arm up and thread it on through. Here we go. Go ahead and switch sides where we left hand up and thread it on through. Show me that left. You have a med after the curse goes off. Well, your all right, and meet me in a tabletop position. Go ahead and take that right leg. Bring it on forward. Let's get a nice good stretch right here. Make sure you're pushing away so your shoulder blades don't drop down. I'm gonna go ahead and sit it on back toe to the ceiling, get some hamstrings here. Go ahead and switch sides with the meet for me. Left leg is out, right leg is up in the back. And toe to the ceiling. And go ahead and meet me in a tabletop position. Curl those toes under, send those hips up and back. Come walk your dog while you're here. Activity completed. And go ahead and walk it on in and you can roll it on up. And while we're here, I just want to say thank you so much for joining for thinkinglivewarehouse.com. I am not reliable for anybody that broke anything. <laughs> just want to roll that out there. Sweat, I'll be sure to send my uh, assistant over to clean it up. Thank you.